Welcome everybody to another video from Robotic Mower Services. Anybody want to take a guess at what this part here is? I'll flip this down here. Give you a better look at the top of it from the outside. This is the upper chassis of an IQ series auto mower. Uh, 410, 420, or 440. This is what it would look like. You got your access screen here, your start button, your, your menu knob for the access menu, and the stop button over there. We have our chassis filter. But the big thing I want to show you is on the inside here because just like the lower chassis that we showed you where they really simplified it, cleaned everything up, they did the same thing here on the upper chassis. You have a sensor board up here for the nose of the mower for your, your collision and your lift and you have another sensor board over here. And then here you have your alarm. Uh, up here you have your, uh, actually that's the alarm and above that is the chassis filter. Uh, we have the application board, you know, similar to what you would find in the e-post mowers and in your 435X and your 5, 535 all-wheel drives. And then we have the comm board that does the communication with the app, your, uh, your, your GPS on the app and all that stuff. But speaking of GPS, one thing you'll notice here, this is very different from your previous version of e-post mowers because this does not have the GPS antenna inside of the upper chassis remember on those previous ones if anybody's ever taken one of them apart and seen it you had a whole bunch of stuff going on here because you had the antenna in there for the gps and that's all gone that's all in just one unit that plugs right in it's in the body of the mower so that's out of there uh the big thing here is like i said before with the lower chassis you know we we prefer that everybody goes through the proper diagnostic techniques to figure out what part it is that's actually wrong with the mower and causing the issue but again your odds here are very high of just grabbing a board and throwing it in there and it possibly fixing your problem because there's not a whole lot of options one board two board application board com board you know um <laughs> makes it very easy to figure out you know, it really narrows it down as to what the possibilities could be. So that is definitely a positive for any of you that are out there in the remote areas that do not have dealer coverage. Um, that's something that we hear a lot about, that people are hesitant to buy these because there's no dealers nearby. Or there was a dealer, sold, it, sold them a mower, and now they're gone, so they don't want to buy another Husqvarna. Well, you're going to be able to take action in your own hands with one of these a lot easier than you could on the previous versions of, of automowers that were available. Um, yeah, this is, this is it. Uh, I mean, I can't believe how good of a job they did of just cleaning all this up and simplifying it and making it easier to, uh, to be able to work on it and just keeping everything clean in there. You know, it's, it's very simple. Obviously it's going to be easy for air to flow around all those circuit boards, keep them cool. You know, it's a, it's a really good design. Um, pretty happy with the way that these turned out as far as the layout inside of the upper chassis and the lower chassis. Uh, definitely better than what was out there before, that's for sure. And you can see we didn't we didn't point this out on the video about the lower chassis. Uh, we'll probably get into that later on. When we talk about everything on the outside of it, but the handle here it's a it's a two piece handle. It splits in the middle, so half of it is at the upper chassis, half of it is on the lower chassis. It's a lot stronger than what was on the previous versions of automowers. And the bad thing is, if you really wreck one of these things hard, you're going to have to replace an upper chassis and a lower chassis. But for the average use, uh, the way it's designed and meant to be used, that's definitely a very robust design there when you fasten that thing together. It's not going anywhere. Now, you run it with a car or something like that, yeah, it's it's going to break. It's going to let loose. But So that's it there. Um, just wanted to take the time to show you guys all of this. So you can see just how simple this is inside here. You know, more bells and whistles, but less components. It's crazy. You know, that's technology for you, right? So anything that you're looking for related to automowers, whether you want to buy an IQ series automower or you need parts to fix your IQ series automower or your existing automower or you need accessories or anything like that, place to go is our website, www.roboticmowerservices.com. If you can't find what you're looking for on a website, send us an email info at roboticmowerservices.com. Make sure to include the model number and serial number that you're working with for the automower you have and give us a good description of what the problem is or what you're looking for. And we'll do our best to help you out and get you fixed up with what you need. 
That's going to do it for this video here. As always, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel.